Let's take a look at another important question. The question is, what is a mixture? To work on the answer to this question, we recognize that there are actually two different types of mixtures. We're going to take a look at first uh, chocolate milk here. Chocolate milk is an example of a homogeneous mixture. Now, homogeneous is actually going to mean the same throughout. And that means that basically if you were to allow the chocolate milk to evaporate, you would find that there would just be chocolate and sugars at the bottom of the, of the, of the glass. But basically, when you just drink chocolate milk, it, it feels like and tastes like the flavor is evenly distributed all the way throughout the chocolate milk. And that's because in a homogeneous mixture, all the particles are evenly distributed. And if we go ahead and we take a look down here at lemonade, we see lemonade is also an evenly distributed mixture, so it's also going to be homogeneous. And if we come down here to salt water, salt water you find is also a homogeneous mixture primarily. If you just look at just specifically the salts and the water in it, not some of the other particles that may be floating around, which would make it more or less heterogeneous. And now let's go back to, over to heterogeneous. For things that are heterogeneous, such as trail mix, you can see trail mix is actually pretty cool. There are all kinds of goodies in there. But let's say, for example, all you were interested in having were the uh, green M&Ms. Well, if you just wanted the green M&Ms, you could take those out, which means for a mixture, you can separate it by physical means. It means you can take it apart. Let's go ahead and take a look down here at a salad. Let's say you didn't want to have cucumbers in it. Well, you could take just the cucumbers out. You could take it apart by physical means. And that's important to know when you're talking about the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous. Number one, homogeneous means everything's evenly distributed throughout. Heterogeneous means, no, things are not evenly distributed per, uh, throughout. Yet for both, you can take them apart by physical means. And let's go ahead and take a look down here at some granite. The particles of rock that make up granite, well, they are not evenly distributed. Not like they are in lemonade, not like they are in chocolate milk, and not like they are in salt water. The particles that make up a piece of granite are not evenly distributed. So whenever something is evenly distributed throughout, it's homogeneous. When the particles that make up the matter are not evenly distributed throughout, it's heterogeneous. But both for homogeneous and for heterogeneous, you can both separate them by physical means, and that makes them be very much in common.